What is up, everybody, and welcome to the next episode of SnowRunner. Look, I got my International. I'm super happy about it. I love this little truck. I have used it for a large majority of the game that I've played, which in my other saves is quite a bit. So let's look and see what we can do to customize this bad boy. So first off, nothing in the engine, nothing in the gearbox, nothing in the suspension. We can get some uh, all-terrains. Let's go ahead and get them 35 all-terrain threes. And that uh, gives us a little bit of wider profile on them tires. I didn't realize that. I, I don't know why I didn't realize that. Anyway, um, let's see. We can actually... S no, we do not want those. What are we doing? We can actually sell those in the future if we want to get a little money out of them. But we're okay right now. Uh, winch, for uh, ten grand, we can grab us an autonomous scout. I'm going to hold off for now. Spare wheel. Uh, nah, but let's get this frame on, add on and get a roof rack. Definitely want a roof rack. Look at that. It's beaut. All right, so the next thing we're going to look at is some of the... Uh, the add-ons, like we can get these. I don't know if we can get those with the fog, the, the roof rack. Oh, the roof rack has some, so it's okay. Front bumper. We can get the angled. So we have stock. 700 bucks. I'm going to pass on that for now. Um, we can get external horns. We can get a side pipe threshold. Okay, so this is a step. Okay, we can't get that yet. What about rims? What do we want to do for the rims? Let's go ahead and just change up the rims. Paint-wise, I am going to go with... Hmm, black or charcoal? I'm going to go with charcoal. So we got our we got our truck nice and set up. So let's, let's check out the map. Clear off everything we had from last time. All right, so what do we got to look at here? Uh, we did talk about doing the fallen power lines this episode. So let's go ahead and take care of that. And if we have time, we might grab another one of these towers real quick. Uh, probably the one coming from this way up. So that way we can take it, you know, we can just have it taken care of. Plus we'll unlock the warehouse. But before we do that, let's go ahead and do the down power line. Now what we can do is we can check out, we can use this truck. I don't know off the top of my head what I need to pull. So let's go ahead and just... Um, Go down to frame add-ons and throw on a, let's do, let's just do a flatbed because uh, it, it'll be all right. Um, I don't think, oh, that's not what I want to do. And go back to customize. I don't think there's anything else that we can customize in this truck as of yet. Uh, we can probably get some better off-road tires or all-terrains maybe. Ooh, maybe not. Oh, wow. All the tires are locked for this truck. That's crazy. So we can change to 42 UHDs, highway tires, but I think we're good with what we got then. No winch. We already have the engageable diff. We are all right without a spare tire. Probably just sign my own death warrant. We already have the all-wheel drive engageable, and we got the frame. So let's just... Oh, no. We have something we also need to do. So let's look at what color we want to make it, and let's make it... Uh, I wish it was a darker purple than this. That's still kind of light. Um, let's see. Let's go with that. All right. So let's take this, this, babe, this bad boy out and head up the road to the down power line and get that mission. This truck drives a lot better than the the other the, 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 the road semi truck that I have. And some of them all terrain tires on it though. Uh, this is a I don't this is a Fleet Star, which I think is in the Paystar line. I think they're I could be wrong, but I think they're of the same brand. Maybe not. Maybe Fleet Star and Pay Star are different. We'll have to look. I'm not sure. I know that in the beginning, though, I really like this truck over the Chevy that you get. So, I mean, look at that. I just plow right on through that without sliding or nothing. So, let's stop make sure we're heading the right way. So, we got to go all the way up, almost to the bridge, but take a, a right there before the bridge. Okay. Good to know. Turn off the brake to keep going. Once we get there and we get the mission, um, 
we'll have to go back and get the parts. I wonder if we can get the mission from... Yeah, no, we can't. So we have to get there first. That's okay. We'll drive and never hurt nobody. We might be able to pull that one high tra highway truck out with this, but we'll stick to the mission we got, what we're doing right now. Probably end up selling that Chevy highway truck for... I'll probably end up selling the CK1500 and the highway truck. Maybe not the 1500. I usually hang on to it just for, I guess, nostalgia. Uh, from time to time, send it somewhere. Like... If I have to go to, if I go to Alaska or whatnot, I will uh, leave that truck here in case I want to come back here and do a couple missions, like, in between. So, it has a purpose. Yeah, this truck just makes all the difference. That all-wheel drive makes all the difference. It really does. And pop right over with this tree like it's not even here. Boom, boom. Alright, so I should be not too far around this turn here. Do we have to make the turn up the road to get to the power line? Yep, right there. I don't know why I just did that. Don't ask. I don't know why they were so keen on putting a horn in when there's like nothing you can like... Uh scare out of the road or anything. That's weird. Maybe it has something to do with multiplayer. I've never actually played the multiplayer in the game. I've talked about it a bunch, but I've never actually had a chance to play it. So here we are at the down power line. Show task. So, we can't get a darn thing done around here. The power lines are down and all we get from the town are excuses. Well, what about what are you waiting for? Do something about it. Oh, okay. Okay. So it needs metal beams and concrete blocks. So that's heavy. But we're gonna accept it because we need to we need to get it fixed. So we need to at least back up to this little clearing here so we can turn around. So where do we get this stuff? Oops, sorry, sorry about your sign. Littering sign. Ooh, I just turned the sign into litter. Sorry about that. Alright, so. Break and map. So we need... To find the mission. Uh, fallen power line. The... We need to start tracking that. Start tracking that. So we can pick up... We can pick up something from here. A flatbed trailer with probably the concrete blocks on it and then the metal comes from the town so let's drive in the town first and get the metal metal uh, beams once we get the metal beams then we'll go pick up that trailer because it, it has what we need on it and then we'll have a trailer we can sell Or use. <laughs> Don't necessarily have to sell it. But you get back what you... Like, if you buy a trailer for something, you get that money back if you sell it. So, I mean... You don't have to have a bunch of trailers laying around your shop all the time. You can just get what you need when you need it. So... I've played that way. So we're just going to head into the town. It's not too far of a drive. The, that's the metal beam indicator right there. So let's, we're going to take this left here because it's the way you're supposed to go through since those signs are up. And see how this truck does in this mud because it's pretty muddy. Like that bouncing around. <laughs> oh, oh, that was rough. That was a little heavy. But it didn't stop. It's a decent truck. Can't complain. That that other highway truck, the Chevy, would have been, we'd been, I'd been done for. I've been pulling, I've been bringing the scout out here to pull it out.
Alright, welcome to town. I don't know the name of this town. Off the top of my head, is it? Is it? No. I don't know. Welcome! Have a nice day. <laughs> I'm a taxpayer. I'm going to drive on any part of the road I want to drive on. What happened? Did my controller die? My controller died. That was crazy. I wonder what happened there. Uh, I don't know. The batteries I got in aren't great anyway. That was scary though. I thought I was going to run into the building. Municipal warehouse. Alright, so we just need to get us some metal beams. Uh, cargo 2 of 2, metal beams, load. So let's go deliver these bad boys to the down power line. Oh, yeah, that sign was already on the ground, guys. I so. I, I just wanted to let you know that the sign was on the ground. My controller dying is kind of scary. I used to use it wired and then I found one of the dongles I got with an oculus so I could use my Xbox One controller with my computer wirelessly. And I started using it again, but it's, you know, I just have batteries. I can't recharge the batteries in the controller, so that kind of sucks. I wanted that extra USB port back. Kind of bouncy with these metal beams on here. Sorry about your signs. Oh, that was already. Whoa! That was already down there. I thought it was. I thought it would be safe. I didn't notice the sign on the road. I just figured I could pull through. I am driving a nice big truck. Didn't even have to. Dif didn't even have to lock my differential. Now, to lock your differential, though, you have to be in low gear. So it's an important thing to remember. You're going to be going slow if your differential is locked, but it's okay because now the only exception to that is the uh, Scout that I have. It's always got its dip locked. I think. I think I just lied to you. But we'll find out soon enough. Alright, so something happened. My phone just went off like 15 times, or someone's phone did. Right around the corner here from this bridge, we'll be able to drop these off. Rock. Rock. I want to hit that rock. Be prepared for the unexpected. I've never seen that sign before. <laughs> nice. I just realized there's no speedometer on my screen. I guess it really doesn't matter, but... Somebody come out here and pick up the sign, but not put it back up. All right. Huh. Oh, so well, let's unload our metal beams. So now we gotta go get concrete blocks. I think that. Um, huh. That's new. Since the last time I played, uh, I think that the. Um, that trailer it wants us to go get is the concrete blocks we need. I think what I usually end up doing too is I go and get that trailer first and then uh, I get stuck here with the trailer. So let's not do that. Let's, we, we've got the metal beams first so we should be able to just bring the trailer in here, unload it, and then we can take the trailer around the other way. Night's already coming again. I swear, I feel like it was just day. I can't remember for the life of me how one turns on their lights. I could have swore. Hmm, I guess I'll just use the keyboard. I swore it was whole, it was uh 
holding down that button. I guess not. So that trailer's not too far up the road here. Hopefully we won't get stuck trying to pull it. Because concrete blocks are heavy and that tree might cause a problem in that. But there's plenty of trees we can tie off to use our winch to get it out. If that's the case. And we also have low and dip lock too. <clears throat> so we got this. It's a flatbed trailer, but it's a long flatbed trailer. I think, I think it's a ramp trailer. So those are our concrete blocks. And there's four of them, so we actually have two left after the mission, the job, whatever. So this is a mud pit in here. I don't, I'm probably going to get stuck, but that's okay. And actually what I'm gonna do is if I'm close enough, I'm not, I'm not gonna back all the way up to that trailer because that's a trap. Crap. They want me to get stuck. Why can't I winch that trailer? I bet it's not spawned in yet. Come on. Come on. Come on. What is going on with that trailer? It should have dropped by now. There it goes. So now we can come up here. And we should be able to. Now attach trailer. Alright, come on now. Attach winch. Really? That's crazy. Well, screw it then. Attach trailer. Let's do this. Oh, it's heavy and I'm in mud. Heavy trailer. Good stump. Get me going though. See that? Stump made all the difference in the world. Pull off this tree next. I told you it's a trap. It was a mud pit. They wanted me to get stuck. But I'm better than that. The trick you can do with the trailer and the winch too if you if you can't get moving. I'll have to show you sometime whenever the situation arises, but now we just need to deliver these concrete blocks. Ooh. All right, it's kind of a kind of a scrape the pole right or the post right there, guardrail. All right, so we got the trailer out the trailer park, whatever it was doing there. Put some get some speed till we get stuck again. About to hit the mud. We'll use our momentum as long as we can. Which didn't seem like long. Wow, yep, it shifted. We'll drop into low, go ahead and hit that diff lock, and we'll just keep pulling. Hopefully we won't get stuck on that tree, or any of these other trees for that matter. Come on, come on, no ma'am. Just a little tug sometimes, get you going. That's all you need. This truck's a trooper though. I don't know if I've ever had a paystar full of concrete blocks trying to pull it like that. Oh, it just stopped. So, it's all about aiming your camera, but sometimes you can go to attach winch and uh, not have any winch points. There it goes. I don't know what that was all about. Going trucking. Where's the tree? The tree of doom must be here soon. Oh, is that it right there? Did it get pushed off the road? Did I push it off the road when I drove over it earlier? 
but I'll just destroy it, maybe. Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to check the footage. So we're moving pretty good. Let's go ahead and drop it into automatic, see if we can get some speed going up here. That's my biggest downfall, is low is so slow. Sometimes I get a little like, oh, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. And yes, this is slow because we're slipping, but we're still going faster than we would if we were in low. <laughs> we're about to be back on the road here in a second. I'm gonna make sure I take this turn wide so I don't get stuck on that guardrail with the trailer, because it's quite a long trailer. Go back into low and not unlock that diff. Punch a little bit to get some momentum back up. So, I don't know what's going on there. So, we didn't really have anything in front of us to winch into. So, let me show you a little trick, if it'll work. So, we can go to this trailer, which is behind the tree. There's something going on with this. Because that I should have some kind of winch point. Because, look, I go to the truck. I can't select any of my winch points. I wonder if that's a bug. That's not a good bug, because that's going to get me stuck. I'm going to have to look that up. I'll let you guys know in the next episode if that was a bug or not. It's about to hit the highway, hit the actual road again. And we're stuck. Oh, there it goes. She broke loose. Without being able to attach those winch points, though, man... I don't know if I can get unstuck. Patch winch. That's not cool, man. Come on. Just pull it. Just pull it. You got this. You got this. Just keep on pulling. See, I told you. This wide turn. Take this turn wide. So turning this trailer around on this road is dang near impossible. So that's why it's a good idea to get those metal posts first, or the metal, the steel beams first. Metal beams, because then you don't have to turn this trailer around. You can go around to the other side. So unload, unload, accept. Should have read that, my bad. So we look at the map. We actually have a path that goes all the way around. It goes up here, and there's a gas station right here. Then there's a, a pass that goes through that comes out right here to your garage. It's a rough, rough pass. And again, there's uh, this road that comes down here through the farm the farm is rough very rough and we only have 50 percent fuel so i think what i'm going to do is try and get up to the gas station here and then regroup there because then we can get fuel for one thing so let's go ahead and try that now that we've got a pathway through here it's fine on this road but there are some roads between here and the gas station that are quite rough we still have some heavy bricks on our blocks on our, our uh, there's a difference between brick and block. <laughs> Suck for anybody that comes around that corner seeing me sideways like that in the road. Talk about shoes. Screw your sign, man. Yeah, so I need to go up. I need to go up this and take a left. This looks like some mud that we might get stuck in. But she's got it. This truck's a boss.
All right, lock the differential there. I didn't expect for it to just come to a complete stop. And did it again. Sometimes just letting off the gas a little bit, letting it roll back just a, just a hair and then, then tromping the gas will get you unstuck too. So up at the top of this hill, we should see the turn that leads up to the gas station. Might even see a sign. Yeah, there's some signs there. So we can make sure we're going the right way and we won't check the map. But let's go ahead and check anyway. So basically, we're just going to kind of go, we're going to kind of follow the road. There's a gas sign, I think. Town Farm. Okay, cool. So yeah, there's the gas station sign. That's the gas station right there. What 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 just happened? I lost my controller again. Dang damn it! Come on. Have to be on pavement again. Engine low. Lock the diff. We can winch to nothing. Well, that's not good. Just need to get moving. Stupid controller. I have to get some batteries or plug it in. I'll probably just plug it in. That right across from us is the pass. If you were to head straight, there's a pass that goes to the shop, but it's it's pretty rough. There's a big section in the center that's all rocks and there's no trees really to grab onto. So, I'm not going to be taking this trailer full of block to it, that's for sure. Not right now, anyway. But we made it to the gas station. We are... Calm down. Calm down. Shh, 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 shh. Alright. Alright. We're in park. All right, so we made it to the gas station. I'm actually going to bring this episode to a close. We uh, we were able to get that power line cleaned up. The next episode, we might we might jump into the scout and do a little scouting. <laughs> um, if you enjoyed this episode, please leave a like so that we know that things are going in the right direction. Uh, if you like this content, make sure to subscribe because this content, along with a lot of other in the same vein of the simulator games, is coming down the pipeline. If you want to be notified by the new comment coming out, go ahead and hit the bell icon. Otherwise, I want y'all to have a great day.